What's going on, creatives? I am on the Mid Journey Alpha site and wanted to play around with it, but I wanted to use it in the way that I would normally use Discord. As you know, I create stories and I generate a lot of images using the same style, which is why I love version six with the style reference. But I wanted to do that on the website and wanted to figure out what is a good way of basically approaching this workflow. And started with a simple idea. We will go with, first of all, looking for the old images. I went to the archives and in the archives we have, let me clear this. Here are all the images I've generated. Not sure what happened here, but in trying to locate an image, you could go with a search. I know that Afropunk was one and here are the images, but this is not all of them. Another way that I know that I can search is that the ones I've liked, unrated, hidden, grids, upscale, square, landscape, portrait, and then the versions. So I would, I use version four, which is amazing that from February of 2023 to February of 2024, we've gone from version four to version six. And amazing. If you think about it that way, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's bad. But I have version four, but I still have to find it. Now, I know that it was last February. So one thing I like, instead of just scrolling down here with this, the scrolling here, what you can do is move the mouse over until you see the date. And then you just scroll down uh, February 5th. When you see the date, you click. So I do like that. I really like that feature there. Okay. So here are all of the images that I generated that day for this, for this Akiao story. Uh, now, I don't want to duplicate all of these images again. I just want to use a few of them. So the thing is to, to do is to move them into a place where I can easily access it, access them. And here's another quality of life benefit of the website. We have the folders so we can organize it. And I created a folder called Akiao and it's just a matter of taking an image, grabbing it, scrolling over to the folder and dropping it in. Then when you go to the folder, this is where all of the images reside. And this just makes it easier to work with. About. But the thing I have is a style as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image and this is the workflow that I use. I select the image. And as you can see, we have our very, now this is version four. So we don't have all of the editing functions, but we'll go to the new images once this is generated to see what's available. But I want to use the image and I want to use the prompt. And I will just delete uh, that. Okay. But now I want the style. So let me go to create. And I'm going to scroll down here to the image that I use to represent the style. This one here. And to even get this image, I use a different image here for a style, but this is the one I'm going to use. Click the style, hit enter, and it generates the image. However, here is one of the issues that from the Discord to the website, one of the options that I really used quite a bit was preferred option uh, suffix. And what that would do is that it would append the suffix to the end of your prompt. And that way I can keep the same style, the same settings. So if I had a, a style, stylized chaos or 
whatever you wanted, I would have it there. Well, we have that part here because we can set it here. You can see we have our aspect ratios. We have our mode, I mean, raw version six. We have our stylization. We have weirdness, which I didn't use. We have variety, which I believe is the chaos in Discord. So it went it went from chaos to variety and then our mode of operation. However, what I don't want to do is keep coming back here and clicking on this style. So what I can do, hits the style, lock the prompt. So now when I go back to my archives, come over to Akial, grab an image, do image and prompt, remove version four, hit enter. You can see it left the style in. So now I can just get rid of that. It'll go to the next image. Click on the image, click on the prompt, get rid of version four, enter. So this is one of those conveniences that I did really like is the fact that it can lock the, it locks this part of the prompt. It doesn't lock the text. It just locks what you have down here, the images that you place down here. So that is a very, that kind of replaces that preferred option set. Now, what we don't have is option list where we can kind of put in a bunch of images and name it a character or something like that. We don't have that feature yet, but it's the alpha version, so I won't really worry about it. But when I'm done, by the when I got done, you can see that um, here are the images. I'll go to my archives and let's just Get rid of that. Okay. All right. And we will now clear this filter. Go to version six. And now we can just take in older and here are the new Akial. So I will move this over. I'll move this one over. So now here are the new images for the new story. Okay. So that that feature there is a really good tool. I think I like the website a lot, knowing that I can lock this part of the prompt, that this is locked in, makes it real easy. But the fact that when I place this image here for as a reference, I can lock that. And then if I wanted to, where I go in and let's say we, uh, uh, again, we want, let's say, yeah, let's, let's go with a totally different style. Okay. And so we have that locked in and then we can go for, you know what? Let's go for, let's go really, really out in left field here. Not use any of those and just use this prompt. Okay. So we use that prompt, hit enter. And then we'll see what we get. But as you can see, once it starts generating, it kept whatever you had up here. So we can turn that off, take that out. But it keeps the images. And I think that's a very good workflow for the type of things that you want to do to make it kind of make your life a little bit easier. So if I said, 
take this prompt. Enter. And so you can see we have an image prompt. We have a style prompt. And who knows what kind of goobly goop we'll get uh, from this. But we will find out in a second here. But, but that is one of the quality of life uh, enhancements that the Alpha website has that I, I really enjoy. And actually, let's take a look at these images. That, that is kind of insane. But we did give it a confusing prompt, someone in the car plus a horse. So the fact that it's kind of confused, although this one is not bad. I think we just found a new style here. Look at this. I'm not mad at this. I am not. I'm not mad at this one at all. I think we might have to keep this one. Right. And then if we go back again, we get something totally different. These are not bad. And so you can see just some random, random image, random style generated some pretty cool stuff with a prompt. But overall, my take on the website is that this is a 10. I don't think I'm going back to Discord. And if we take a look here, what's available, you can see finally the very... We have our subtle and strong upscale. We have subtle and creative remix, subtle and strong. You have your pan, you have your zoom, you have the rerun and the very option. This is fairly new. Uh, I haven't really messed around with it too much, but image style and prompt is something that we can use. And again, we can lock and the images here. And that is kind of like in place of using the preferred option suffix in Discord. All right, so I have my new images. I have my story. I'm just gonna re-edit the Premiere file and we're gonna post it. So the story is to follow. Akio, a samurai of a different kind, traveled down the dirt road of Ozu. His dark skin and punk haircut were in stark contrast to the traditional samurai appearance, but his spirit remained that of a true warrior. Akio was on the run, hunted by the shogun's forces while searching for the rogue samurai who had brought shame to their order. As he walked through the village, the atmosphere was heavy with suspense. The dilapidated homes were made of wood and straw, and the overgrown vegetation seemed to encroach on the structures like a dark shadow. Ahead, an old truck sat parked in front of a rundown house, and Akio knew his target was near. I drew my katana, my heart beating faster as I approached the house. I could hear the sound of laughter and music coming from inside, but I couldn't let that distract me. I had a job to do. I kicked the door open and burst into the room, ready for a fight. But to my surprise, the room was empty. The laughter and music were coming from outside, where a small gathering was taking place. I blended into the crowd, scanning the faces for my target. And then I saw him, in the corner of the room, sipping sake and playing a game of Go with another samurai. I approached him silently, my katana at the ready. He looked up at me, his eyes narrowing as he recognized me. We both stood, drawing our weapons. You have betrayed your master and the code of the samurai, I said. You will face justice for your crimes. He sneered at me, you think you're a true samurai? Look at you, a black man with a sword. You don't belong here. But I was not deterred. I was a samurai, and this was my duty. We clashed our swords, the sound ringing out through the village. The other samurai stepped back, giving us room to fight. And fight we did, for what felt like hours, until I finally disarmed him with a swift strike. He fell to the ground, defeated. And with his mission accomplished, Akio stood victorious, his katana sheathed. 
The villagers looked on in awe, their silent whispers of admiration filling the air. In the distance, the towering peak of Mount Fuji loomed as a symbol of battles fought and battles yet to come. For this was the way of the samurai, 